10th session, I remind you that the Virginia Patrick Henry more than 225 years ago stated during the Constitutional Convention of both Virginia as well as the United States, power is the great evil with which we are contending. We have divided power between three branches of government and erected checks and balances to prevent the abuse of power. However, where is the check on the power of the judiciary? If we fail to check the power of the judiciary, I predict that we will eventually live under judicial tyranny. These statements were also held by Thomas Jefferson, George Mason, and Madison. In Virginia, the check on judicial power was Article 6 of the Constitution. It gave the General Assembly the sole authority to create courts and appoint judges. Subsequently, the General Assembly, after a 1923 decision, created an attorney discipline system to assure the independence of lawyers. This grid work, or framework, which was to assure the separation of power between the legislative branch and the judicial branch, has been destroyed by the Supreme Court of Virginia promulgating rules which have created an attorney discipline system in violation of Virginia code. I have repeatedly told you this. The appropriate citations to these code sections and constitutional sections are on the back of the document that I have presented. Now, in my particular instance, in retaliation for my litigating for the last seven years to protect my rights as a father, government lawyers and judges have attacked me in various ways. They took away my license to practice in Virginia for exercising my statutory rights. Now, if I, as a federal litigator of more than 38 years, former White House appointment on President Carter and Reagan, cannot protect my rights, what happens to the layman non-lawyer? That is why I come here. I'm continuing to litigate. I have the ability to litigate. I will not stop because it goes beyond my monetary, excuse me, I'll be ending in a moment. But it goes to your duty to control the usurping of power by the judicial branch and government lawyers. This problem is not unique to Virginia. Since 1980, we saw the, SA, the, the saving loan scandal, we saw Exxon, we saw the financial scandal, and it's because the legal profession has not served the public. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Roderick.